27 foot rear living uh, Sierra travel trailer just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Big super slide, big rear living room, big rear windows. Very common, very popular layout. Big bright sunny living room back there. That's where you're going to spend most of your time. That's where most of your investment's going to be found. Um, you know, I like to show you the good with the bad. There's a lot of things that the, the pictures alone can't really tell you. Like if you look at these stickers a little close, you can see where they have sun peeled a little bit. I wouldn't let that really get your blood pressure up. That's a cosmetic only item. As far as I can tell, just from general indicators I've learned to look for after a lot of years of experience in this business, this looks like a trailer that has not been towed. It looks like something that has primarily been parked and uh, my guess is that nose was pointed um, due east right at the sun when it came up every morning and my guess is that's probably why uh, the uh, uh, nose has faded a little bit. Now um, again in the spirit of telling you the good with the bad the rear wall here is um, laminated the fiberglass skin has come apart a little bit but if you notice it's still solid underneath. I don't know necessarily that that's water damage. It may have had a little water in it but it's still solid underneath which tells me that it could just simply be the fiberglass skin had um, from the sun separated away from the um, substructure underneath. It's actually not uncommon on laminated trailers when they get a little bit older. I guess in short what that means is that it could be nothing more than just cosmetic, but I am not a trained technician. I would recommend highly that you, uh, you know, come look at this trailer yourselves and form your own opinions of them. The, uh, other than your two chairs in the back, which obviously two people just absolutely spent the majority of their time there, because like the dinette, the sofa, these things are untouched. I mean, look at the fabrics on these. Uh, as far as I can tell, even grandkids haven't spent time on them. These are factory fresh materials right here. The two chairs in the back, however, have obviously, uh, you, you have very obvious his and hers, right? But they've obviously been used quite a bit. So my guess is this was like, probably used as something like a vacation home where they spent a lot of their time and they just wanted a big view of the lake or something behind them. And, uh, you know, they they just didn't spend a lot of time sitting in a dinette or a sofa. They just spent all their time back here and caught something to watch on TV and enjoyed getting away from it all for a little while. I mean, really, that's what camping's all about. Just take a break and enjoy yourselves a bit. All of your windows um, open here in the slide out. That'll give you a lot of cross ventilation. That's something I always like to talk about. This uh, rig also has central air and central heat which will help extend your camping season. I'm not going to tell you this is a Four Seasons coach, but basically as long as the park is open, you'll be comfortable in this one. Um, they kept track of all their owner's manuals, which to me is always a really strong indicator that these were folks who took care of their trailer, because in my experience, folks who misplace, lose, throw away, whatever the case may be, get rid of their owner's manuals, tend to be the ones that do not take care of their trailers. That is not the case here. A third wardrobe closet here, or pardon me, a second wardrobe closet um, is found right here in the hallway across from the bathroom. Up in the bedroom, they did uh, a little bit of uh, an interesting design. They gave you a larger wardrobe here with triple dresser drawers below and then a smaller wardrobe up here. So that would be your third wardrobe. But they left you an extra large shelf beside it for things like alarm clocks. Um, you do have two entry doors. The second entry door takes you right here into the um, bedroom. What's nice is it gives you an easy way to hop in and out, like if you need to, say, grab a jacket out of your closet or something. The other thing is if you're going down the road, um, you can slip past this countertop when the slide-out is in. But uh, if you're a bigger person, that may be a little problematic. So with that second door, you can pop in here, hop in the bathroom when you're going down the road, and never miss a beat. You see you have the full uh, um, door, or back of the door wardrobe, uh, what I want to say, mirror? Jeez, that was hard. Let me start over. You see you have a full mirror on the back of the bathroom door. There we go. And As you can tell, I obviously don't rehearse these videos. I just talk about things as I see them, as I go, and share my experiences with them, both as an RV salesperson and as a uh, person who has camped quite a bit. The giant Creative Breeze fan that you're seeing up here, those are awesome. If you open that thing up, open all your windows up, and uh, crank that fan on, 
you'll have like a six mile an hour breeze rolling through your trailer and never have to turn on your AC. It's very nice. And something Forest River is usually really good about, and you see here, they give you a big full size sink to actually wash your hands in. It's really annoying how many of these trailers, even big fifth wheels, have these tiny little jokes of sinks that you can't even wash your hands in. Not the problem here, obviously. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hail it RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Have fun, take care, and happy camping, everyone.